I'm Donnie Ray, and this is the Priv Talks Podcast. Join me and my team as we pull back the curtain on work, life, family, friendship, leadership, entrepreneurship, and everything in between. We hope these conversations will inspire you, make you feel connected, and bring you a laugh. Welcome back. Just Keeks and I. Just the two of us. I know. Isn't this nice? I you want to sing that song. Just the two oh, of us. I'm like, what song are you talking about? <laughs> Um, let's get right into an intro our guests because they're patiently waiting. This Canadian duo that I'm so excited to podcast with are best-selling authors, top podcasters, and viral YouTubers. Oh, I hope huh? that's Wow. I mean, it changes every time someone introduces us. I always die to hear what someone's going to say, and I'm like, love it. Sounds perfect. Sounds like I've done something with my life. Yes. <laughs> you have, you have. <laughs> you have seen them on Entertainment Tonight, the Today Show, the Jenny McCarthy Show, which I freaking love. Oh, and she's crazy. Oh. She is a sex dungeon. What? Yeah, That's a cool. legit sex dungeon. Yeah. That's something I don't have in my house. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> you could turn that office into it. You're not using it that much. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say your name so our listeners probably already know. <laughs> <laughs> You probably know who they are. We love them. Welcome, Kat and Nat. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. We're so happy to have you guys on the podcast today. We're so happy to be here. And fellow Canadians. I left that. Oh, I did say Canadian duo. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that's great. We need Us Canadians need to stick together, you know? But Canadians seem to be like, you know, I have a lot of American family, and they're like, you know, Canadians breed such amazing talent, <laughs> other than the four of us, you know, like musicians and musicians and actors, writers, writers yes, those people, yeah, the Bees, Hotties. Sean, yeah. The Weeknd, that's right, Drake, I mean, and then us, four, and then exactly. us, and then us on top, <laughs> of course, top of the pyramid. <laughs> Um, and I think our podcast today kind of spawned, we got a dump of snow in Vancouver today. We haven't had any bad weather all week and Whoa. All week woke up to like half a foot of snow. So thanks. Whoa. And ironically, it's wet and rainy here in yeah. Toronto. Um, I did live in, I lived in Vancouver for one year. I want you to know. And did you want to jump off a bridge? No, not at she all. She loved it. I, I thought it was great. Actually, I thought the weather in the winter was better than winter in Toronto. I, I ended up having the most amazing year for the weather there. And Thank I, you. I thought you were going to save my life. And I was like, I wasn't there. That is not a nice thing to say. But okay, yeah, I'm glad no, you could recover. It was the weather. Thank you. With but the weather. I lived in Kits and it was just such a great place for like a new mom to go and all of a sudden just have all these mom friends. Yeah, Kits is amazing. And um, it's. I think it just takes some transitioning to the weather. Like my joke was like not funny about like joking about jumping off a bridge, but like truthfully, we didn't grow up here and we moved here like 15 years. We're sisters, by the way. You are? Yeah. Aww. That. Um, but it, I feel like it takes like four or five years to transition to like the gray weather that we get so consistently. I, I, I can imagine. I just like the fact that you have like, um, it's just, it's just a really nice outdoorsy. Yeah. I'm not an outdoorsy person, but just like having the, the beach fact that and you the could hills. possibly. Yeah. It's really lovely that the thought that maybe yeah. you would do that yeah. is there. My not husband, that you want to. No, no, no. no. no just for other people. That it's there. It's there yeah, if, it's you nice. want, if you so want to. And my husband loved it and loved living there. Um, but we moved home because all friends and family are here and I couldn't be a mom without them. Yeah. It's nice to be close to family when you. The cat. Mostly you. Thank you. Cat. That's waiting for friends. Wow. That took a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like that's so important when you're a mom, but um I also am an indoorsy person. Uh I like to indoorsy. Like, <laughs> indoorsy person. I like that. I know. I've indoor. never heard that. Indoorsy. I mean I'm <laughs> it actually describes you very well. <laughs> I last week. We we're both in Cabo last week and I was mad at how cold it was. Like I actually was like angry at the weather. Oh, it was, it was cold. cold. In Cabo? colder than usual and it was just like you needed a sweater and I was kind of like I'm in Cabo I shouldn't need a sweater right now yeah but fair but I hear LA was cold at two, everything was cold last week in the out west right it's still a bit cold it's still well we just literally got snow for the first time all year so it's well, not well, where are you guys from and why do you 
this is this is my interview where are you guys from and why did you move to vancouver um we moved to vancouver as a family when we were like teenagers uh, no you were younger i was yeah i was in grade seven you were in grade 12. So. i was a teenager <laughs> from where from alberta oh, okay they dragged her kicking and screaming in her 12th year yeah well, that is kind of bad yeah sorry about that I mean, it's nice now. Um, it's just like such an assortment of expensive real estate. That's so great. And uh, the weather's better. We don't get snow usually. So we that's... came from the prairies. So, I mean, I couldn't be happier to have ended up in Vancouver. Yeah, I sure. absolutely yeah, yeah. We live in the suburbs of Vancouver. So it's a little bit quieter, but I absolutely love it. I wouldn't want, I definitely would not want to go back to Calgary or Edmonton. No. All right. Well. Let's get into it. Let's get into something called a boss or bust, where we highlight our like highlight or our like fail of the week. And I'll start because um, I quit coffee. Like I, I just saw you drinking coffee, sister. No, it's Starbucks, you fool. Oh, Starbucks isn't coffee. No, they have other things, teas <laughs> and fine beer. I thought you were cheating already. No, I'm like a coffee drinker. I've been in like a serious coffee drinker and I kind of attributed it to like skin issues and I just cold turkey quit and I feel so good. I'm like, what? I missed the habit a little bit, but I actually am like really proud of myself. Did you find you had any withdrawals or anything or did you no, just, just, I should have, but I literally did not. I felt, I feel really good. What did you replace it with? A day drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the skin issues at all. Just no. the coffee. <laughs> Never can't, wine. I can't believe like, you just quit. Yeah, I just decided to quit New Year. New, I, I actually quit three weeks ago, um, but I've stuck to it. So I feel like it's now been long enough that I can call it a boss. Wow. I mean, I've just never heard of anyone quitting oh, coffee. Oh, because a boss is a successful thing and a bust is something you are screwed over with. Now that... Yeah, like a bust would be like my 57th late of the school year, right? <laughs> fair, fair. I mean, I feel like my life is a bust. I'm trying to work on that. <laughs> but I also, I have another boss because I actually learned how to edit video when I edited that video. Oh, good. That was great. Well, you guys were great in the video. That helped and good for you. I can't believe that was your first video. I feel like we were putting it all out there in that one. Yeah. Video is vulnerable. Like putting yourself out on video is like taking your clothes off in a crowd. A well, bit. you guys were, you were really natural. Very. It didn't seem like, you know, it, it didn't even take you any time to warm up. Well, I mean, that was editing, I think, but we'll see. We'll let our listeners see it when we, uh, when we post this. It then. was pretty funny as we were doing it. I don't think it came <laughs> super naturally, but. Okay. Do you, do you guys edit your own videos or? Depends. Guys... We, I mean, we have so many videos that go out a day, so it just depends on depends on what it is and yeah it, there's three of us that edit it me uh Lexi and Kayla who will go to just chop it it's just like so I think it's nice to do it yourself sometimes because you know what you like in your own voice right so yeah lucky for us um we have an editor who has been with us for how many years a lot, all, all, a lot. So our editors were fans, ironically enough, and they, they consumed us in a way that they enjoyed. So they understood like what they liked. So they, the way they understand us and how it goes, like we didn't have to train them the brand. They, they, they know our voice so well. And one of them has grown with us over the years. So if we change a little bit, she's like always watching so she can, she's really respond. They're all really responsive to feedback. Like, and like they, nothing's personal. No. It's amazing for such like they're 20, one's 22. And they just like, they're like, it's not about me. It's about you. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. That's awesome. That's so Yeah. Cool. It's hard to find good help. Yeah, yeah it fair. is. Do you have a boss or bus, Katie? Well, I was going to take a boss for that video as well when you started just <laughs> sorry rapid firing <laughs> off <laughs> your bosses. <laughs> she's she's um, the younger sister and you can so tell it's kind of amazing she didn't even say anything till it was over she's like oh well whatever I guess I was but never mind <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel pretty bossy this week. I mean, I took, <laughs> she worked this week. So that's a boss. Yeah. I came back 
from a beautiful week vacation with the family and just kind of dug right in, worked a couple 12 hour days to get caught up. And we're going to do another video series called Vacation Mom Truths. And it will be about her. Oh. I, mean, I may or may not like to take a vacation once a month. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah like you go away somewhere? Take a short little trip. <laughs> Nothing. I like it. Happen. Like a weekend or go downtown for the night. She lives her life. How many? You, she has a life? Ugh. No, I don't. Was, no, she does. She's one kid and I have three. But so. I also have like three step kids that are like family. So let's not take that off the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a full time mom. <laughs> you know what's funny about you two? what do tell do tell like a bunch of things but it's like your sisters you grew up together and one has more of a canadian accent than the other which one Me? the younger one the younger one really uh, i think so yeah yeah i thought i had a strong. more of a lisp too <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. i don't hear that <laughs> okay so let's just start cat or nat let's hear your boss or bust oh nat okay um, go for it babe. all right Okay, I can do this. Um, well, I said that I was going to dust off the treadmill this week and go on it, and I've gone on twice. So, boss that, boss. babes. Gotta celebrate the wins. Oh, I'm taking January as a free month and starting January <laughs> 1st. <laughs> I've taken the, the past five years as a break, so I think it's about time I got on there. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Good for you. You've been a boss this week. <laughs> It's a whole different topic there, babe. It's a whole... I'm just staying quiet so I don't get fired. <laughs> you know, it was a big week yeah. over in the cat and Nat world, and it was good. It was a good week and lots of reflection and execution. That's good. So you just feel like a boss in general. I think feel like we took back control over sort of things we were out of control. When you get a larger team, you can kind of lose touch with what is going in and out and what's happening. And for no one's fault of their own, except of ours. And it, it was a, it was like, whoa, it was kind of like a light bulb moment for both of us. And it feels good to get back into the nitty gritty of it and it's been happening since december yeah but this week became like uh don't do that yet in case we have to okay gotta get rid of my gum where am i gonna put it um here there's a dog bag right here um yeah it felt good to like wake up if you will yeah you know what i mean wake up and see what's really going on in our business I feel, I actually personally relate to that a lot. We've been in the process the last, we have actually taken a break from the last season. Like we're just, this is the, a fresh podcast season that we're starting. And we've taken a break because we've been working on some office stuff and streamlining. And, and I feel like having kids sometimes pulls you away from your business. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's an ebb and flows, and you, like really, like as the creative, like you need to be there, and I need to yeah. take turns, and you need to kind of get back in there. So sometimes it's like hard, but you have to do it. Yeah, no, you have to do it in order to have. You need to understand your business and the pulse of it, or you don't. You're just talent. You yeah. know what I mean? You're not business owners. You are just you're employed by a team rather than employing yourself. And nobody really sees it the way you do, as an owner. No. No. And they can't. And sometimes you, it's, you want them to and expect them to, yeah. but in reality, they never can. It'd be really nice to let it go and have someone run your business, but it, it, you kind of got to sell it in order to do that. Or, you know, you have to be okay with just being employed by somebody else. So it yeah, it's, it was, it has been a growing, a growing week, if you will. Good for you guys. That's awesome to hear. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, about, I was listening to, I was watching your video this morning about you guys were naming your tour and then I got interrupted by my kids and I never got to finish it. And I was like, just tell me the fucking name. What <laughs> and now we never did tell them. Oh no, we're waiting for the artwork to come out. Oh. So it'll be out. When is this going live? February 4th. Yeah, it'll be way out. It's basically, so we went to Instagram and asked everyone what we should call it. And uh, overwhelmingly, the response was Cat and Nat Live Off the Rails, right? Off the Rails, yeah. Off, off the, the rails. rails Tour. So it's OTR. 
which we're known for. And I think the trend of this, what we have grown into is that we are like sick of performing and it's time to like go back to what we, we know how to do. And that's not catering to people. That's being who we are. Mm-hmm. So, you know? So good. Yes. Where are you guys stopping on the tour? Well, what we're, we're, what we're doing is we're doing short, um, short weekends. Um, instead of the week long, we're like ditching the bus, we're ditching the crew. So we've done a hundred and like six shows, uh, or 106 cities, more shows than 106 so we've done 106 cities over North America and it's exhausting and it's a lot of work. So we're trying to rejig it so that we're not pulling so hard on our family. Although going away is sounding really good after being home for two months straight. I know. But um, we're going to do weekends, destination weekends that people can um, come to or, you know, drive to if it's anywhere close. And they'll just be either one or two live shows. And we know that we're doing Atlantic City in, in July and we know that we are doing Anaheim. Anaheim in May. May and then we're going to be it's basically going to be one a month that weekend so one a month well so much more manageable it sounds like the whole bus tour like how long were you guys gone for when you did a tour sometimes 10 days and the kids were always like we're getting good kind of like hearing from the kids what um mom are you gonna are you gonna be here to pick me up today like they, it's like they've always were worried that we were gonna be leaving they didn't trust that we were gonna be home because we're <laughs> either home full-time or not home at all and my, I said, I said, uh, my son said to me this morning, Hey mom, someone on my hockey team asked me if I had a mom. I'm like, Oh, okay, great. I guess I'll be at your next hockey game. <laughs> me too. I got the same thing. So we're just trying, we're trying to, uh, do it, do it fucking, am I allowed to swear? We're trying to do it all, literally trying to do it all. And that's, that's not easy, but what do moms do? We balance and then we juggle and then we rejig and then we put it back and then we go where it's needed. And then, you know what I mean? You're yeah. constantly like, you're constantly like this. Now that you said you're hockey moms as well, like that changes everything. Cause I'm a hockey mom and the expectations are unbelievable. And my, my hubby who, when I was joking about us not having husbands, we both just, I've been engaged for like 15 years. So, so I just <laughs> do that. I'm not married. Okay. <laughs> he's not. I mean, if he wants to be your husband, he's going to have to fucking marry you. He's technically my boyfriend. Yeah. So. You guys I are- love it. Don't give I him that title boyfriend. status. I wish I had a boyfriend. I want to. Let's get one. Right? It's forever. Yeah. Your fiance. My fiance. I hate that. Fiance. Um, but I'm a hockey mom and he's a hockey guy. So it's like hardcore in our house. And it's just a lot to keep up to, to be honest. What does that mean he, that your husband is a hockey guy? So he like played high level hockey and he still plays and he coaches the boys and he's really oh, and he has gosh. a very high level beer league that he's very committed to. Super committed. Yeah. Beer league. I lo- high level. I'm going to call that, you know, we have a high level Friday night, high level. <laughs> tequila night. Yeah, tequila <laughs> night. We are high, high level meeting tonight, Nat. High level. Yeah, no, hockey is a lot and it's so many times a week, like so many practices and then extra practices and games and tournaments. And um, I'm just glad that my daughter doesn't play hockey because I've got three boys playing hockey. She now. does dance four nights a week just as bad. But I don't have to go to it. You don't have to stay. Right, in right. So you have, I have two boys and one girl. So... Mm-hmm. So grateful that the girl, like she, you, if I ask her, do you want to play hockey? She's like, absolutely not. Like, yeah, no. that's good. Guys, my girl's in soccer five days a week. So yeah, that's a lot it's not just hockey. And that's a lot of rain. That's an outdoorsy sport. Yeah, it's an outdoorsy, but in, in the wintertime, it's indoors. So that's, that's fine. But I have carpool and, but it, I don't have to do skates and thing. You know, it's, it's what, better than hockey. Is your daughter in the middle? Is it boy, girl, boy? No, it's boy, boy, girl. My daughter's only two and a half. Oh, oh, you got a little girl. Yeah, I was. Now you're gonna have to have another one. Yeah. Why? Why not? Oh, got it. You know okay. what I mean? All right. Four's four's good. Yes. Yes. Four is four is good. Really? Yeah. Was four like a big jump? No. Okay, I'm actually pregnant. I'm not gonna lie to you. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you gave up coffee. Yeah. That's so exciting. After, but yeah, I'm having a fourth and I haven't said it on the podcast yet, but it'll be announced now. No, that's fine. How, how pregnant are you? I'm, I'm just uh, 12 weeks. Aren't you glad I didn't say negative things about having a fourth? That was like the kicker for me. Because that one at five. Yeah. I feel, I feel like, five. 
I feel like th two to three was a huge jump. Like for us, huge. Three to four, I feel like is just going to be the same. I don't think another sandwich. Your house couldn't get any more chaotic. So I know it's loud. It's a lot. How old is everybody? So nine, six, and two and a half. Wow. Mm -hmm. So okay. I mean, ten years difference between the two. I've been having babies forever. Yeah, no, I, but my, I have a 10 year old and a four year old and she, it's really helpful to have an older one with the younger ones. That's what I think. I think at every stage they get something different out of it, but yeah. my oldest boy will, he'll be my babysitter. Yeah. Do yeah. you know what you're going to have? I mean, are you going to find out? I'm going to find out, but I, I'll probably find out like next week or the week after. What do you think? I think boy. I think, yeah. I think boy. I feel boy. I feel good. I feel like my girl pregnancy was awful and my boy pregnant, like my boy pregnancy. I don't even know. Um, that's my, my guess. I don't know. That's so exciting. So I, I basically nailed it, Nitty. Yeah. I'll just be podcasting from the hockey rink from now until the end of time. Let's be honest. Oh God. Yeah. Girl would be great. Don't get me wrong. There's, but, not, a of, there's not a lot of young girls in our family. There's a lot. Uh, okay. Yeah. What do you have a boy or a girl? I have a daughter. She's actually three months younger than Donnie's oldest. So we were- Oh, that's together. so perfect. Yeah. They were like, they're still best friends. There was a that's whole- There was a skit that didn't make the video that we made and Katie was going on. I'm like, you know, it's nice. You have a baby and then you're just like, move on to a new stage. And then me, I just like kind of keep getting back. Yeah. Crazy. I, I guess I just have to stop having sex. Oh, well, if you like it, babe, don't stop. I've only done it a few times. It's just I make it. <laughs> do it. I've only done it a few times. <laughs> yeah, we feel you. We understand that. We have a new method, seven minutes and under, and you'll have a lot more sex. It's, it's such a nice number. I would say five and under, to be honest. Yeah, I know. We were trying to, we were, that. We were <laughs> trying to give it like, a you know, bit of like trying to not make them feel like they just had to stick it in and stick it out. Like we we're trying to give them like a couple know, of pumps, a couple yeah. of pumps if that's what they wanted. If they get bonus, if it's under three. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. This leads me. We have a rapid fire Q and a for you guys. Okay. Like, and I want you both to answer the questions. Okay. And it's a would you rather. Okay. Okay. So would you rather wine or martini? Martini. You too. Shut up. I know it. I had martinis last night. Yeah, I know. A really good one. Both martinis. There was smoke. But yeah. For the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. I forgot to add that part. Oh. Martinis. You know, I love them both. I yeah, but martinis, you can flavor. Okay, fine. Wine is one flavor. Oh, yeah. I've been doing really well on one flavor for a lot of years. <laughs> Okay, okay, lipstick or mascara, and that's the only thing you get. Mascara. mascara. Okay. I was actually thinking I would have chosen lipstick on that one. I mean, not fair. I have false eyelashes, so for sure lipstick. Actually, me too, so <laughs> fair. Lipstick. Okay, <laughs> BJ or school field trip? School field trip. Yeah, school field trip, yeah. Unless it's been a long time and I can get it done in one <laughs> suck, maybe. I don't know. I would just... <laughs> one suck. <laughs> it's weird. It's a blow job, but it's a suck. You know, that's weird. Tricky. It should be a suck job. It should be a suck job. Blow job. <laughs> weird. weird. Who named that? Like, that is a weird. man. He got it wrong. You know, he thought it was a blow. I'm like, you try sucking a dick and then name it. So confusing for the younger generation. As it it really is. <laughs> really is. Okay. Vegas or Miami? Miami. Miami. I thought you would say that being East Coast girls. Hmm. Be pregnant for nine months straight or have sex every night for nine months? Pregnant. Whoa. Pregnant. Like, I would choose pregnant over a lot of things. That's tricky. <laughs> okay, fine, because it's life and everything. <laughs> every day for nine months. Could you yeah, imagine? no, I know. I'd be exhausted. Yeah, and your vagina would just be like... <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> Katie, you're thinking it would be great. I right? would definitely choose sex for nine months. <laughs> What are you? Why do you like it so much? Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> does your does your boyfriend or partner, fiance, husband, person like it too? Oh yeah. So you guys do it every day? When yes, we do. Every day. <laughs> Is it long? 
Um, it can, yeah, it can be. <laughs> Don't laugh. Were you, were you born that way? Uh, no, I just really love him. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't always that way, that's for sure. Is that how you express love? <laughs> part, part of it. <laughs> like you're thinking about having sex with him right now. I am, and he's away, and it's fucking torture. How long have you been together with this guy? That's a good question. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Not that long. <laughs> okay, okay. Not How enough. long? I would say it's the first year still. Okay. I remember that. <laughs> but still, it's every day for nine months. It'll fade. It'll fade. Okay, next question. Walk in on your parents having sex or have your kids walk in on you during sex? Happens to Nat all the time. Happened this week. So many kids. I mean. I know. Yeah. And they creep in. And it's like nighttime. Um, I, uh, 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 I could not see my parents. Me. Okay. You have the answer. I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, I'll scrap it by yourself. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. I'm like <laughs> actually envisioning how the little one can walk in. The big, imagine the oldest one, the 10-year-old, 11-year-old. What the are you doing? Oh, would you rather see your parents? At least I know that they do it. Ew. Yeah. That would be so Like, gross. I could close my eyes really quickly. The little one would just stare at you for a long time. Like, what are you doing? You know? know? Yeah, no. Parents, I'd walk and walk out. Yeah, the 11-year-old would be the worst. Like, that yeah. would So many questions. Okay. Pee your pants in public or have your baby shit in their crib with no diaper on? Oh, pee, pee your, your pants, pants in public. public. Not <laughs> even a big deal. Yeah, we've no. done that before. Not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. Um, never eat carbs again or never have alcohol again? Never have alcohol again. Never have carbs again. That was so easy for both of you. <laughs> well, I'm not really into carbs and she's not really into alcohol. I love alcohol. I just have a, I have the no tolerance. I would rather, I would give up carbs before alcohol. I would give up alcohol, I think. Really? I know, shocking, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Because you have a potato, you just make some carbs. I mean, some alcohol, right? Oh. Like fermenta? Like, yeah, fermented and stuff. Some you could always some smoke. Tea. We could do drugs too, right? So You could totally start doing drugs. I mean, this, <laughs> I hope people are not having their kids in the car. <laughs> Listen on this one. Um, okay, next question. This is, we're done the Q&A. Uh, I want to know about you guys like what how did it come I about just took it my hair extension sorry <laughs> I love that how did like I want to know about before mom truce before cat and nat like how did you guys meet how did you start doing it what was the aha moment that you guys decided to get into social media well <clears throat> we met in ninth grade and then we um we reconnected after we had babies through Facebook and we were at the time stay-at-home moms and we really found that there wasn't a great place for moms to go and connect without their kids in the room. So we literally just started as like a mom group in Toronto yep. with wine. And then from there, people in other cities were like, this seems like a really cool club. How can we become a part of it? And we were like, how can we bring the joy that we're, we're creating these, in these evenings, the joy and fun that women deserve. So we decided to host these events in my living room, but live stream it before live streaming was a thing. Mm -hmm. So we found a guy that had technology, could live stream through YouTube. It was really glitchy, but we did every single Tuesday. And then the videos, you know, to start off, we had like maybe 200 people watching, but that was fine for us because we were having a good time. Yeah. And then we started doing mom truth videos and we just realized that the, the messages that were coming back were, I needed something like this. Like, I don't have anybody. Listen, for... it wasn't even 200. It was like 25. Like, you know, because no one really knew how to get on the live streaming. And then it just grew and it grew and it grew. And then Facebook Live came a year after we've been doing it. So that was a perfect platform for us. And it was just like all of the people um, messaging and just saying that this is exactly what they didn't have. And what they needed was moms talking about this stuff. So we kind of did it for our, started doing it for ourselves. And then it became doing it for all moms. Every, and everybody. Watching. Well, you guys are hilarious. I'm not surprised you have such a huge following. Oh, thank you. I was almost wondering if there was like a comedic background between. Oh, like, no. no. We're just weird. We're totally just weirdos. Yeah. I love it. That's all we, that's all we got for total weirdos. 
I also feel like like we put ourselves out there on the podcast. So like I understand how that feels, but I would never have thought of doing it in like an actual social way first, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. Was I it? feel like we just always, it, we don't think much. That's what I can tell you. Was it so ever? There's no, sorry. Sorry? It hard for you guys to be like so open and honest and explicit all in front, like in front of your following? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Her? We didn't, we, we, we at one point were catering to what, like, you know, we didn't used to, to cuss, as they say in the States, cut their cussers. Um, but did we like, find it hard opening up about our personal life and like everything we were doing? We did think about it. I don't know if it was like, oh my God, we can't, we never, once we started little bits and there was one mum truth that was like pivotal because we've been doing mum truth literally for like seven years. And there was one mum truth that was pivotal, that was edgier, that like had a different look. We changed the font, we changed the music and it kind of became like a satire rather than a conversation. And that was sort of the, we were sick of being like Fisher Price moms and like Johnson and Johnson, like thing. Because that's where they were pigeonholing us, like throwing us into like this perfect mum roll, and the camera would go off, and we'd be like, "Motherfucker!" Like we, it would become so us. I would say the opposite of that question is it was it's easier for us to be us. to not be like not to not hold back. It's yeah, harder, yes. it's harder for us to hold, to try and like. Before we go on TV, we're like, don't swear, don't swear, don't swear. And every producer is like, you know, this is lo-. like, they freak out. And we're like, don't worry. We know how to be they're professional. Like, they're always on the calls before. Like, well, we know you guys. We watched your videos. We really love you. We're really excited to have you on the show. But we just want to let you know. Yeah, we're like, don't worry. We know how to keep it together. <laughs> um, it's funny because when we were recording our mom truth yesterday, um, there was one point. There was one skit that was so funny. The that funniest of them all. Of like the, the entire thing. And Katie was talking about this like laxative tea that she drank because of the chicken burger. And she was going, we were like crying laughing. And she's like, this cannot be in there. I'm like, you got to take that out. When we edit No, out. why? Last night I had one martini and I was like, put it in. <laughs> so funny. Good. Good. I mean, I've shot my pants a few times and I'm, I'm happy to share. You know, because listen, it happens. I mean, I don't know if that's what you did. I didn't shit my pants. I'm going to say. Oh, God, me either. <laughs> she started cramping up on the video. And she's like, I'm cramping. Oh, my gosh. It's like I'm delivering a baby right now. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that. I know those feelings. It, it comes was, in waves. It was so funny. But it was like, I can imagine, like, I was like, would they edit that out? Or would they keep that in? Keep it. Keep oh, it. my God, yeah. But what was wrong with the chicken burger? No, it's just, I had a chicken burger late at night. So when I went home, I was like, I'm taking some laxative tea to make sure this gets out of my system in the morning. I never heard of this before. There's nothing worse than waking up after eating something shitty late at night and feeling like gross because it's not coming out. Did it work? So instead of one bag, I took two to make sure. She's so extreme. No, you got to, you got to go all in. The thing is, wait, like, so like, you'd rather shit your pants maybe at nighttime than wake up I with a chicken burger. She, it and sounds like she's in control of not shitting her pants. I don't think that's a problem. She has oh. it. I've done this regularly. And I have to tell you, if I ate a chicken, is it like fried? Uh, yeah, it was a cr spicy, crispy chicken burger, obviously. Okay. okay obviously. See, I will eat a lot for that. Yeah. In and out. <laughs> right. Because that could be a disorder, though. Like, we shouldn't joke about this. Oh, for sure. I do have a disorder. I, I feel like you I'm do save this video until the end of time and cherish it between us. <laughs> yes, you need to cherish that one. <laughs> um, I want to know, what is the most controversial mom truth you've had to date? Have we had one? Have you not? I mean, I wouldn't say controversial. Like, most, we have a most viral. I just, yeah. I just imagine like sometimes like people as you get more exposure, people can become hypercritical. Yeah, and it's men. It's men. It's usually sex and men. And they're like, wow, must be your poor husbands. Like it's not often women. It's always men who have I've got to get a comb. Yeah. Who have the ish with with, with what we're talking about. Yeah. That's amazing. You guys have a great community. We do. I think when you're yourself and it's your feelings, not many can say much about it, to be honest with you. That's, like, or we don't hear it. <laughs> that's great, though. I mean, I wouldn't invite that. I just, I, I always say we live in the age where everyone's offended. And so yeah. 
it makes you scared. Well, it makes me scared of offending people in different ways online. And then I, I'm always like, this is bullshit. Like I'm offended that you're offended. Like why? Yeah. Are we- I think the core of us is to, never to ever, ever hurt somebody or like, we don't tell, we don't ever give advice. We don't ever give advice because we don't believe we're experts in anybody's lives, but our own. So for us to go and give, we, we're never advice based. Um, it's like, you do you, I'll do me. This is how we do it. If you don't like it, I don't fucking care. <laughs> don't, don't, don't watch the video. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's your choice. <laughs> um, okay. I have some listener questions. Okay. Um, what's next for Kat and Nat? Will you guys be writing another book? Not allowed to say it, but yes, it's coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, we totally are. Yeah, we're not. I don't know why we're not allowed to I say mean, it, but yeah, we're writing a book. Yeah. It's coming out very soon, hopefully by May. Yeah, yeah. So exciting. Um, how has working? That's not me, right? No, that's no. that's this one. Um, okay, it's your hot boyfriend, and they're <laughs> sexting each other. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> they totally are. She knows it. She's there was a dick pic that just came in. Yeah. Show us the dick pic. (laughs) I just, everybody listening probably thinks they're getting a message and is checking their phones. Yeah, Yeah, I do. I'm like, that's not me, right? Yeah, that's been like three times. I'm worried about turning it off though that I'm going to like lose the recording. So I'm just not, this is so good. I'm not going to mess with it. Fair, fair. We get a dick pic by the end of the podcast. I apologize. Okay, no worries. We're not. Don't worry. Okay, has working with your best friend ever jeopardized the friendship? No, we're, 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 we're not really friends. Not no, friends. So lovers, really not matter. friends. No, it's yeah. good. Yeah, no, this whole, it's all, a, this is all no, guys. Episodes. We've been hired to play these roles. They yeah. They do names. I'm actually Gertrude and she's Gertrude. Totally. And we're we don't even different. have kids. No, no, I'm just a single lady. I'll tell you, you should see me. Woo! Vegas, yay! Yeah, no, we're, it's, we're all good. Yeah, we're good. We're solid. Have, have you ever felt like juggling work got in the way of your kids' lives? Have you ever felt like, what did you say it again? That juggling Enjoy. work has gotten in the way of your kids' lives. Or like I feel m- like the kids have gotten in the way of our <laughs> work. Is that the truth? Um, I think, you know what we actually think? Yeah, <laughs> this we, is think. This, we think. We think, this is what we think. We think that our kids have such a good life and they have it so easy that the times when we go away is making them more resilient because we're not always there to pick up all the yeah. pieces and they have to figure it out or find other people that care for them to do it. So we're actually, you know, we're being better moms for um, doing work. Yeah. And I will tell you, I feel like privilege, privilege and this notion of work and like sacrificing your kids is, is a privileged ideology that uh, many people don't have the idea to even think of it because most Lots of women are single with children and have to work around the clock and find random people to watch their kids and don't have this privileged idea that they they can make their own hours or they can be home and they can do it all. So we're really aware of, you know, even mom guilt's kind of a privilege that we get to feel guilty because for some it's not even an option. Like it is a it is it is a way of life. So I think that yeah, we're cognizant that shit our kids are lucky and they need they to lucky. they need they need to understand that this is life you know i wish i could remember the you guys posted a meme or a quote on your instagram recently and it was something about how your kids perceive you like you are the maybe you guys can remember i can try to pull it up uh well you 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 are you you are the like you are their highlight reel you are the ones that they're looking at you are the ones that they like we dictate how they feel and if you are apologizing for what you do of course they're gonna not be happy about it but if if you walk out and you're like i can't wait to go to work mommy's going to kick ass they will have that preconceived notion that that's a positive thing. We, we often as women parent in guilt and live our lives in guilt. Well, what are they going to take from that, that we're doing something bad? So we're always trying to flip the script and be like, do you know what? This is a great thing. Yeah. And by the way, kids, some of, a lot of the things that you get to do, you get to do because mommy goes to work too. Yeah. Well, and that's also a really good point, but it also forms how they will feel about work in their life. And you want hard work and how their wives or partners or spouses or you know whoever's with them uh how they feel i love that okay we always end off the podcast by asking for a piece of advice or a mantra that you're living your life by fuck it okay <laughs> um, okay um, sure um, honestly i think to myself 
don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> really. No. But like sweating the small, if you get caught up in all the minutia. Yeah, micromanage. Don't you micromanage the, your life. You won't have the energy for the good stuff. You know, you won't, you won't even, you'll miss it because you're so busy sweating the small stuff. Worried about like if it's going to rain later, you know, like everyone's like, everyone gets so upset about little things and I'm like, dude, just don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I have like loved chatting with you guys. I think you guys are ultra hilarious and I will be following. A you. little bit weird. A little bit obsessed with you guys. Not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. Ah, thanks. Like clicking the notification button for yeah. sure. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a status. I like that. That's a good status. Yeah. For you, I'm clicking that. I'm going to get your notifications. Yeah, I yeah. like you. I'm not yeah. going to mute you. Yeah. 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 It's good. good. And then if you guys come to town, I'm definitely going to come see you. Got okay. it. I love it. Where, well, I want to tell our listeners where can- but your sister's not. Got it. Only you. <laughs> <laughs> she's too busy having sex. Yeah. She's too horny. We're not, not her. <laughs> okay. Where can everybody find you? Can you just- Dad. Hugs. I cat not. At cat not TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, catnet.ca. Come to go our babe, shows. Go, babe. Come to our shows all around the world. North America, East Coast, West Coast, and worldwide. Wow. <laughs> that was like she's nailed that. Yeah. Like that was a lot. <laughs> we practiced it a lot before we <laughs> came on. Into a freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. When in doubt, freestyle. Yeah. Yeah, work on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bear teacher interview. <laughs> and then, of course, people can follow us on social at Style for the Priv and at Priv Talks Podcast. Please subscribe, rate us five stars, and leave us a review as well, but only if it's nice. And then oh. <laughs> don't I like that caveat. If you don't, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? If you don't like this, leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And please join our exclusive Facebook groups for insider scoops. And I think maybe we'll post our video in there first. Yeah, for sure. Our mom, our mom tooth version of yours. Love it. Love. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love you guys. Like, please. Thank you. When we come to Toronto, we're going to come. When are you coming to Toronto? I don't know. I don't know. Tomorrow, I feel like I need a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh god! Tomorrow, that's probably, tomorrow. Tomorrow. probably tonight. Uh, actually, she's like Alexis, just, just like this. Comes back and I have sex. Then I'll <laughs> oh shit! Uh, you're a good. good I want to see what this guy looks like. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> I want to see the dick pic. Me yeah. too. Dick, 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 dick. dick. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. bye. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you love Priv Talks podcast, please rate and review. Then. DM us a screenshot of your review with your address to at Privtalks Podcast so we can send you a free gift. Also, we want to keep the conversation going, so please join us on Instagram and get into our private Facebook group where we can chat and stay connected. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.